Welcome to Dublin and Dragons, the castle of liquid shadows. I'm Axel and I'll be your dungeon master for this campaign. Are you ready to explore Jackhaven? Let's get started. you to the players for this campaign. Starting with... My name is Amy um, and I'm playing Lanny Sludovic, the Aladrin Barbarian. I am Ali and I am playing Keiko, the Lovebird Arapaka Cleric. I'm Katie and I am playing Akika, the very very happy also Lovebird Cleric. I'm Orla. You're a monk! I got that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're leaving that in. Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> uh, okay, say it again. Okay. Say it again. Uh, I'm Katie, and I am playing the Lovebird Aarakocra. I'm Katie, and I'm playing the Lovebird Aarakocra monk. I'm Orla, and I'm playing the Half Drow Wizard. Uh, I'm Cormac, and I'm playing uh, Basha, the Drow Grave Cleric. I'm Chris, I'm playing Ged, the Drunk Warlock. <laughs> I like that Orla just doesn't have a name. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if that was a choice. Was that no, going to be like a secret my wizard, reveal? My wizard's name is Kala. It's not a secret. Yeah. Revealing my name later. Well, okay, oh, but Katie didn't even know what class she was. <laughs> <laughs> I think names are the fucking word. And I definitely saw Axel read his own name off a piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do it again? No, yeah, I like no, it. We're good, we're good, we're <laughs> good. <clears throat> no second takes. <laughs> Guys, come on. Do it <laughs> Okay, we're good. Oh good. Hi guys. I, I am a oh, no. grave clerk. That was right, right? You okay. got that right. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows what they are, right? <laughs> uh, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. <laughs> this campaign is set in the illustrious city of Jackhaven, which as our... Company name, I want to say company name. Yeah. 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 Uh, would lead you to believe it's based on Dublin City, which is in Ireland. Uh, it's called Jack Haven. If you got the joke that it's Jackie in Haven, thank you. If you didn't, a Jackie is kind of a curse word, but not really a curse word for someone who lives in Dublin, which I think is everybody at the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except well, <laughs> for Cormac. He's I'm, I'm from here, I just currently live in Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're here for the weekend. And I'm, 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 I'm here for the weekend because I am bad at saying no to things. As, a, as a, we all are. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jack Haven is a port city. It's on the River Salak. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Irish jokes. Um, it was primarily a human settlement until about 500 years ago when a platoon of elves and Eladrin came over to invade and subsequently took over the city. I see you dancing, Lanius. You were involved in this. Yeah. <laughs> um, the city's main export is a kind of fancy magic wine called Jackhaven Arosha and Jackhaven Kirkra. And I assume Ged is going to be making full use of both of those wines. Yes. Good job. Um, okay, so the premise of this campaign is that our adventurers somewhere, somehow heard about a job being offered by noted Jackhaven debutante Chelsea Dovetail. How did you hear about this job? And how did you get here? Lanius? Lanius has been working in Jack Haven for some time. He's actually, uh, he works with a debt collection agency, but, you know, it's not the best pay. So when he saw the uh, signs go up for Chelsea's job, he decided to take on a little side work. Uh, Keiko and Akika came into the city, travelling as they do. Uh, and Keiko was scouted for the job because clerics are always in demand for helping healing, possibly because, you know, we find Tristan, he could be very, very hurt or... Or dead. Dead, mm -hmm. yeah, could be dead. So, yeah. So, of course, that got... Yeah, and we, we come as a set, so... Yeah, <laughs> so, of yeah. course, Akika <laughs> had to come with. So, yes. <laughs> um, Ged, do you want to go next? 
Ged has absolutely <coughs> no idea how he got here. He, get, he got there in a drunken haze, and the only reason he really wants to uh, do anything is so he can get more money for booze. Fair. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Kala. Well, uh, Kala lived with her sister in a temple not far outside Jackhaven, probably only about three days' walk. Um, is that West Meath-ish? Yeah, kind yeah. of West Meath. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe. It was a little grim. Um, <laughs> and was um, sort of unceremoniously banished uh, due to her subject of research and made her way from the Temple of the Raven Queen to Jackhaven. Um, has never left the temple before in, in living memory. She got there as a very young baby. And so doesn't really know what's going on. <coughs> Arrived in um, as a sort of lost waif um, and was uh, sort of swooped in on by two, mm. we- you know, well, possibly I mean, literally swooped. Probably literally swooped <laughs> by two. <laughs> <lost> child. <laughs> <laughs> by two well-meaning Arakoker to stop me from like wandering into traffic. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's not let you do that. Yeah, because we kind of like because we're both. We both grew up as like temple kids as well, so we just recognised a temple child, <laughs> a lost temple child, <laughs> must help. <laughs> so yeah, we've been kind of like just you know looking after you <laughs> for yeah. the past. We are days. now your bird moms. Yes, bird moms. Yes, we are. <laughs> and Basha, what about you? Um, Basha has no idea that there is a job going on. She is uh, mainly she is headed out from the. Uh, Lovely, pleasant temple in the pleasantly grim Westmead-like area <laughs> near that she is perfectly happy staying in um, because her sister decided to, um, well, dabble with things that is expressly against our order's rules to dabble in because she had to. I wonder what it she is. She just had to. She doesn't have to touch um, Yeah. And uh, now uh, Basha has come to make sure her sister is... Okay, if she can, get her back to the temple and convince everyone to chill. And uh, <laughs> just make sure her sister doesn't hurt anyone. That's ominous. <laughs> that, that is very ominous. <laughs> what have we, what have we picked up? <laughs> Fine. She's lovely. She's, Look at her. she's adorable. Yeah, yeah, look at that face. You've only just known her for a very short time. Look at that fleshy <laughs> human face. Not human, you're not a human. No, no. Okay, I'm just, okay, it's all kind of... Look at that fleshy, fleshy outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. Lani has mentioned that there are posters gone up all over the city advertising Chelsea Dovetail's job. The poster <coughs> in question reads, I'm going to show off my nice notebook. Hey. It's got a raven on it for the hey. raven queen. Hey. Hey. So represent. This campaign is all about pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get an apple with a pigeon on it. Mm. Uh, adventurers wanted to gather information about the disappearance of Tristan Dovetail, last seen entering Castle Jackhaven for the Crescent Moon Gala one month ago. There's a reward for his safe return of 10,000 gold pieces per member of the rescue party. Any interested parties should meet at the Furry Orange Tavern on Full Moon's Eve at dusk. Now, we will cut to dusk. In just a minute. But first, I believe, our beloved Aarakocra duo and their new adopted child are going to hit us up with a spot of brunch. Yes. You don't know what brunch is? I, no, we eat, we eat twice a day in the temple. Morning, evening. That's it? Sunrise, sunset, yeah. <gasps> okay, well, but brunch is kind of like, it's like maybe the 20% mark in between those two. It's breakfast lunch. It's breakfast lunch. Yeah. 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 Brunch. I love it. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna love it even more. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It is the best food because it's not quite lunch, but it's not quite breakfast. It's something in between. But okay, but the place is called the Furry Orange. <laughs> yeah, Does that you mean... can get a furry orange if you really want to get a furry orange. I, I don't. But really that I, sounds no, like no. it's gone bad. I mean, t- mm, well, they, they do good brunch. Y- yeah, I mean, it's. It sounds like they. <laughs> <you're into furry laughs> it, it just doesn't sound like this is gonna be sanitary food. I'm just putting it out there, like the furry orange. I mean, you know the. the the HSC seem to be pretty okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> the fantasy HSC! The fantasy HSC! It hasn't been shut down yet, and mm. honestly, we've eaten there a few times, and it's been fine. I've only seen like a rodent once. I trust you! Yeah, it's yeah. fine. It's, it's fine. good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
go get brunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should, and should, like, we contact anyone for you? Or, like, are I, you just in the city? Or, um... I mean, really, I think you should kind of do what you want to do. Yeah, no, um, I tried that, actually, mm. right before I met you guys. Um, turns out, banishment, not just from... My it's not temple. a nice word, is it? Oh. Not a great word, not just from my temple, tried the temple here. Oh, um, dear. Yeah. Not so much. Okay, okay. Try, try this po poached egg and, and spinach. Oh, okay. Dry bread, it's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> how do they, how do they, they cook it, the shape? Why are you eating <laughs> eggs? You're birds! <laughs> birds eat eggs? <laughs> birds eat eggs. Birds eat eggs. I am strictly yeah, fine. vegetarian. <laughs> Can you eat eggs if you're a vegetarian? Yeah. 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 That's vegan. Eggs are vegan? No, eggs no. are vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Technically, we're bird people. We're not strictly birds. But these are could birds. be lizard eggs. They could be lizard eggs. We're gonna go with that. They're poached lizard eggs and poached spinach. Yeah. I heard wizard eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lizard could be a wizard. We don't know. I'm How eating the eggs. supplied breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, they are now a wizard's egg. Okay, hey, fair. There yeah, we go. there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what's what's your plan from here? Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. No, no plan. That's okay. Uh, no, that's, you, we don't have a plan either. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, like you're gonna be fine. We're we're Deep temple breaths. kids as well. Yeah. You're fine. And the, and look, yeah, as as you said, we're temple kids too, mm -hmm. but we're not in temples. Yeah. yeah, actually, it's gonna be great because mm. um, I'm gonna like become a crazy hero. Yeah, and then yeah. Keller's gonna feel ridiculous for banishing me. Yeah, I mean, then we'll see where the egg is because mm. it's, it's gonna be on his. It's gonna be it's on it's his there. face. Oh, that's where it's gonna be. <laughs> okay, isn't your name Keller? No, Cal <laughs> Calder. Okay. Calder's oh. name. <laughs> <Just here. laughs> okay. No, Calder's the name of the uh, the temple elder. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The high priest. The high priest. Yeah, well, you know what. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Well, you're welcome to hang with us because mm. we've been where you are, or rather, um, Akika's been where you are. Um. Yeah. So we're we're good to you know help you out at least till you find your feet and become a big hero. Yeah. So that's that's all I need. Just my chance to be prove everybody wrong. Cool. It's gonna be great. We will happily help mm -hmm. you. You know, get started. We might become big heroes in the process as well. <gasps> That'd be lovely. That'd be cool. That cool. would be cool. That'd okay. Be cool. Um, Yang. Well, we do have a meeting here in the tavern at dusk, so you're welcome to join us. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we have it totally looks like a big hero sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. I like it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. As you guys took in to your lovely brunch of <laughs> lizard wizard eggs <laughs> and, <laughs> and these. spinach. Just laid it. <laughs> Don't eat the dragons. That was weird. We need those. <laughs> so it was right there. The door to the furry orange swings open, and in steps none other than Basha. Kala. Basha! Oh my God! Oh, that's good. Funny. You're here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I can't believe you left too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why did? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We can fix this. We can. That's a strong word. Well, no, not, not, you're fine. Just, we can go back and talk to Calder and... I tried that. It's not. You tried that so loudly, though. <laughs> Maybe if we do it quietly. But no, but I, I went, I went even to the temple here and I was really good. I swear, I, 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 you know, I didn't even bring my spellbook in. I left, I like hid it in a bush outside and I, I went in and I was really polite to the to the elders here. Um, How many times did you correct the elders? Like one time, but in my defense, there was a spelling error in the hymnal, and it just it, it was right there in front of me while while she was talking, and I just couldn't get my eyes off it. It was so distracting. I know, I know, but we we can go to a different temple. Further away where messengers aren't there I, I can't, yet. I've actually, um, I, I have a job to do and it's really important. And, um, so I can't go right now. I have commitments. You always say that if I commit to something, I have to, I have to stick to it. You've been gone for like less than a week. Yeah. How do you have a job? 
well, you know what, I'm a, maybe I'm more competent than you think I am. I'm just, I have responsibilities now, so um, I don't want to flake out on them. Wait, you're not flaking out on responsibilities? No. Um, these and are my new friends. Hi! I'm a Hello, hello. very nice to meet you. Basha, you're Basha! Yes, I, I am! You. Yeah. Oh, well, why she's you... the best. You've... What have you told... Hello! Well, you're the best. Hello! Yes. I, 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 hear, I hear you're the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I no know. bad things whatsoever. <laughs> good. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm Keiko, nice to meet you. Hello! Um... We have an important job to do where we're gonna <clears throat> become big heroes. Mm -hmm. Big heroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I mean, that was I mean, right like, there in the take pretty much in the description. And, like, show to With a massive amount of money reward. <laughs> See, I've never even seen 10,000 gold before. That's, that's a made-up number. Why would anyone need that much money? <laughs> Someone really wants their mm -hmm. brother back. Uh, also, why are you eating so late? Oh. <laughs> but I don't know how to explain this to you. There's so many meals here. They eat all the time. Just like all day long. It's amazing. Like, see that guy over there? He's been here for like a day and he's still in the same chair. How amazing is that? <laughs> Hi. Are you sure we can't just go back to the temple? Like, he's living his best life, Baja. That's what I heard someone at the bar say. I, I mean, they're not wrong. I, I, I can smell him from here, and I'm not sure that is the best of anything. You can always figure out when he's coming. <laughs> Phrasing. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> that took um, about five minutes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's a so, record. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you have made some form of official commitment to... Um, yeah, no, we have to be here at, um, we have to be here at, at sundown. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want to join us? It'll be great, you'll be, we will get this done so fast if you come back. Okay, yes, uh, and then we will talk about what <laughs> we are going to do next. Uh-huh. Guys, this is going to be so easy now that Bash is coming. Because Bash is really powerful. She oh, good. Cool. 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 Right awesome. Lovely. Awesome. Great. awesome. Fantastic. I don't even know what we're doing. <laughs> but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah. Okay. Can we have lived in a temple. It's going to be for... great. This is a... <sighs> but imagine how happy High Cleric Calder will be if you bring back 20,000 gold pieces for the donation box. Says a voice the in part. your head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, disembodied voice in my head. No that, problem. That could, convi that, 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 that could convince them to overlook a little bit of necromancy. And yeah. Imagine how many antique skeletons you could buy with 10,000 gold pieces. <laughs> my aesthetic. <laughs> Imagine how many mimosas you could buy, Gad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. Dead so, so response I, directly. I, 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 I imagine you just shout like, yeah, and I just <laughs> jump across the room. <laughs> so, you, the four of you. Basha, are you joining them for this weird concept called brunch? Um, Please, we must introduce you. I, 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 I have had my morning meal. I, 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 am, I, I am okay. Well, this isn't the morning meal. This is like the, you know, early afternoon, late morning meal. I, I am fine. Okay. Have you ever heard of mimosas? <laughs> Cut there. <laughs> Lanius, the sun is still up. What are you up to? Uh, he <clears throat> is getting ready. So right now he is currently in the base of operations in... I think I called it Peckham Acquisitions. You did call it Peckham Acquisitions. <laughs> Good. Yes. So he's in their... Uh, <clears throat> He's in the back room where he has set up a small training area that he definitely wasn't supposed to and is definitely <laughs> doing anyway. So right now he's just sort of practicing his swings and his roundabouts and uh, he's ba basically putting off having to put on his uniform because he doesn't like it very much. Okay. That the 
the suit. <laughs> the green pinstripe suit that yes. we all love so much. I love that. <laughs> Just adore it so much. Yes. Alright. Um, I think we know where Ged is. At the bar. Yeah. yeah. He slumped over at the bar. <laughs> How many empty glasses are in front of you? He's got about five or six, okay, and, and he's they... just finished a seven. Were they just ale, or is there something more popular? No, it's just ale, but he's had enough of it. All right. He's trying to get the barman's attention. The barman, now that you've mentioned him, is a lovely ex-pirate known as White Ferris. He's got fluffy blonde hair and a gentle smile. He's missing one of his hands, which makes it kind of awkward to pour drinks, but it means he's really good at, like, sliding them across the table. <laughs> hmm. He's just, like, prodding at you with his hook, just like, Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. You want another drink? Uh, sir, sir, I'm glad you're here. Uh, there was a hole in my tankard and all the beer fell out. Yeah, that uh, hole is called your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> could, could you could you refill it for me? You please? just want the ale. Yes. Please. Do you want me to water it down? No. I want to water it <laughs> down. Um, unfortunately, I seem to be a little light on funds right now. So water then. Uh, just no, water. No, I, I can pay you back. I I'll just... be right back with your drink, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna leave Ged at the bar. Are you guys going to stay in Furry Orange all day? Um, I don't know, I think we should show her the town. Do you want to see the town? He's asleep. Do, no, no, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> There's more of it? There's yeah, so a lot more of it. it. There's a whole bunch. I nearly got run over by a cart and a guy called Lewis yelled at me. <laughs> I'll be enough of you a ding ding. Yeah, he has a little bell on his, oh, on his cart. <laughs> Take such joy in life. <coughs> Quick question, just for my, my my duties. Is that man dying over there? No. I'm are, okay. Are we sure? Yes. Are you Not sure? quickly, anyway. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Because based on what I. Based yeah. on my, my, my order, I should do one of two things in this circumstance. No, no, not the second thing, Basha, not the second thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Basha. The yes. man yeah. at the bar is slowly poisoning himself to death. What, what would you like to do? Um, I, 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 I walk over to the man and just, just <coughs> lightly pat him on the shirt and uh, cast Spare the Dying. <laughs> <laughs> so like, 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 not today, friend. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Does that in any way get rid of the alcohol in my system? No, it just no. means you shouldn't die. It just means you won't choke just on your own vomit as he passes out. It just means you can drink more, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> Wyatt comes back over and is like, please don't vomit on my bar. <laughs> <laughs> we have buckets for that. Okay. So, so we get a little sexy again. Yeah. yeah. Under the company of Keiko mm -hmm. and Akika, Kala and Basha get to see the sights of the city. First up is the Queen's Gardens, which are... Mm. No, I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I also can't remember. Do we have a second name? Not one you've ever told me. Oh. Fine. <laughs> I say it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Keiko and Akika mm. take Basha and Kala sightseeing. They visit. We should take it to the park. The Queen's Gardens, yeah. which is the aforementioned park. Yay! It's full of lush trees and greenery, and a little pond in the middle that's full of swans. Ooh. You head up from there to the University of Infinity, which... We do try to talk to the swans, though. Doesn't go too well, but... No, they don't They don't speak common or orange. They speak, they speak <laughs> piss. They speak hiss. They speak rage. <laughs> Lavius will have more luck. They yeah. speak yeah. rage. Yes, the swan. And he makes an attempt and gets bit by a swan. Okay. All there swans are there. there. They're <laughs> there. <laughs> they are. Following on from the Queen's Gardens, you take the King's Road up towards the University of Infinity, which is full of tall spires and spindly towers, <clears throat> and all has a bit of a arcane grime to it. Kala looks excited. There is a library. There's a library of infinity. The doors are currently closed. 
Nothing opens on full moon eve. Um, how closed? Very closed. Very <laughs> closed? Locked. Basha grabs hold of Kaladar <laughs> and just starts dragging her. Like, no! Good call. Um, because you chose to walk instead of take the Lewis wagon. Let's go see Well, he's really mad at me. So. <laughs> oh, God. I think we'll show up eventually. Lewis. Yeah. Oh, you just got it. Yeah. yeah. The Lewis wagon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was slow on the update. Wag- the wagon pulled by Lewis. I can't remember who gave me that one, which was, was Oh, me. God. That yeah. 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 Um,. The sun begins to set as you leave the University of Infinity and take the road back up to the furry orange. And in the time since you've been gone, Ged, you would have noticed this if you weren't passed out face down in a puddle of your own drool. <laughs> the bar- but not drowning. Yeah. 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 My sister. Because you were spared from drowning. <laughs> own fluids. The place has gotten a lot more lively. Tables have filled up. There's a crowd that is noisy and smelly and pretty raucous. There's only a couple of seats left. You take them. You're next to a trio of a ladron. None of them are Lanius. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know where Lanius is at this moment in time. He should... They're all Lanius. They're all Lanius. <laughs> <laughs> I think Lanius by this point is probably in the furry <clears throat> orange, but he's like he's at one of the standing tables. He has a glass of milk. A glass of milk. That's yeah. Aww. He doesn't drink on the job. That's very That's professional. Fair. Very professional. Um, sitting at the table next to you, there is a trio of Eladrin, and they all look like adventurers in their own right. The first is rather average. Build rather average height, shoulder length blonde hair, which is cooling down around his shoulders, uh, has an unusually friendly face because you're used to a ladrons looking kind of like they think you smell bad. Yeah, yeah. there's a foul stench in the air, which there is, and it doesn't seem to be bothering <laughs> this guy. Yeah, <laughs> um, he's chatting away to his neighbor who is. Whereas this guy, he's got like really neat blonde hair and he's wearing like really neat sort of nice clothes. This guy is dressed in cleric's robes that have not been washed in, I would say, at least two years. That's a lot. He's got really messy, like greasy black hair, olive sort of sallow skin and these bright piercing green eyes. And he's kind of just sitting there like nodding away to this guy who's chatting to him and you kind of get the impression from the way the conversation is going that they've just introduced themselves to each other the third Aladrin at the table is not paying attention to either of them and it almost seems like he's making a point of not paying attention to either of them he hates that these two creeps have sat down next to him (laughs) he wanted this whole table to himself he's got alabaster white skin and like silky black hair that's tied up in a sort of samurai bun yeah Mm -hmm. and there's three tiny strands of it that have come loose he's an anime character and (laughs) and he looks so annoyed that these three strands have come loose he's got that classic aladrin look of his face on uh, like he's got that classic aladrin look on his face that says I should be the only person in this room. Why are you all here? And he's dressed in a cloak that would be camouflaging him if he was out in the forest. But in the city, it makes him stick out like a sore thumb. And it's got a silver rose clasping it together. And on his back. They're like, the furry orange is a no weapon carry kind of tavern, but this guy's got two massive swords sticking up from either shoulder. And you think, he talked to someone to let them get those in. So you might think, like, on adventure group at night, they may have relaxed yeah. that policy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to head straight up to the bar to my friend who looks like he's still napping. 
which I really respect. I'm just gonna watch you go. Just yeah, because there, there goes the child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there's just such a regimented like times there. of day you're meant to do things in the temple, and I just like I'm fascinated by someone just like just shirking that so much. There's just like living this this rebellious life that I'm really fascinated by the, of the philosophy into. And I sort of so I sit down next to next to get. I'm like I'm like sir, sir. Ugh, what? Do you want to join our team? Oh, not so loud. Sir. Not so loud! Sir. Oh, what? Do you want to join our team and become a big hero? Oh, why? Why I do I want to just seem like that's what we're doing today. I'm not here to drink. I thought you said you didn't have any money left. Oh, well, I don't. I'm just hoping that'll be nice. Does that happen a lot? Wyatt comes over. And says, hey guys, it's happy hour for the next hour. Cocktails are half price. Would you like to invite? Yes. Two mimosas. Oh, the best. Mimosas, is we stopped best. serving mimosas at noon. Uh, There's no more mimosas. It's more I of, will tell you what you can order. Drink. You can order a standard Jack Haven Arashta, which is two gold. You can order a standard Jack Haven Kirkra, which is two gold. You can order the look of the smell of it which is four gold, you can order, so you'll have the one anyway, <laughs> which is five gold, or you can order, and this is the hard stuff, this is for seasoned drinkers, I won't be selling this to no milk drinkers, <laughs> because it'll put you in some hair on your chest, uh, and that's eight gold pieces. Uh, I love the look of the smell of you. The look of the smell of it? Thanks for insulting me, love. I'm putting that back up to full price. You can give me eight. Oh, yes. Jeez. Jeez. I'm not having anything then. <laughs> your loss. I'll have two pushing the hair on your chest, and my friends here will be paying for it. 16 gold pieces? Oh, I don't have 16 gold pieces. No, well, then you're not getting two pushing the hair on your chest. No, I used to eat. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's fascinating. He's, he's, a, he's a something, alright, isn't he? Oh, oh no, I might have made sure you were too sheltered. <laughs> you did a job, all right? Yeah, you did something. <laughs> um, I'll get a um, uh, look at the smell of it, and um, what was the first one you, you mentioned? The Jack Hope Mirage Yes, I'll have that as well. Okay, that's six gold pieces. Yes, please. there's six oh, gold pieces. Thank you very much. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Pay you got any gold at all? You want to buy something? Um, I recommend something a little bit lighter for yourself, at least to start you off. The Arashi looks like it is, looks at, the Arashi looks like it is food in it. With that person I'm going to be in a very nice glass of milk. But Bash says I should probably get a glass of milk, so I'll get a glass of milk. That'll be one copper piece, please. Okay. Thank I will also have one of Put a bit of glue in it. Two copper pieces, then. Did you say put a bit of glue in it? <laughs> Kahlua. 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 Yeah. I thought you said glitchy. Don't I'll... put glue in the kids' drink. <laughs> I know. Oh, you said glue, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I thought with the eggs you were going to have like a weird animal byproduct. Like... <laughs> oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Aww. You can try a little sip of mine if you'd like. Mm. As you guys crowd around the bar ordering your <laughs> drinks, uh, Lanny, you would notice first because you're kind of, I assume, you're like watching. Yeah, he's watching the crowd in the door. Yeah. Um, you notice three more individuals come into the furry orange and look slightly dismayed at the fact there's no seats left. Um, the first is a human woman dressed in <coughs> monk's garb with sleeveless shoulders and built obviously for ease of access. Uh, she's got flowing deep black hair, dark hazel eyes and an angular but kind face. She's moving as if everything she does is done with a step of caution before she jumps into it. The second <coughs> is a very glamorous looking tiefling who has dark purple skin with fibre red hair and a set of horns curling up and back down the sides of their head. Their tail is long barbed and swishing violently from side to side as if they're excited about something. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Their eyes are deep blood red, and they have two tiny fangs sticking out of their mouth. The third is a rock gnome. A really cute little rock gnome. Ah. Does she have a name? <coughs> she looks like the way she's dressed is she just threw on whatever clothes she found in the morning. She's wearing like a, a loose shirt and a nice skirt and some black pumps. She doesn't really care too much about her appearance. Her hair is kind of sticking up a bit. Um, she's an older woman. Looks to be about in her 60s. But she's got a friendly smile on her face and she looks like she's ready for anything. And the three of them come up to the bar and order the drinks. <coughs> they all go for the Jack Haven Rasha because it's cheap and it's cheerful. I'm going to come out as well as me taking notes. Kala is also taking notes. Writing <laughs> <laughs> everything down. Yeah, it's like little sketches of people, <coughs> notes on what they say. You're yeah. fascinated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All these people. All these ghosts. No, they're not dead yet. <laughs> oh my, yes. What? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I roll to see if I find some money on the floor. Roll me an investigation check. Cool. With disadvantage because you're drunk. Oh, it's the first roll of the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, first roll of the game. Disadvantage is... Looking for money. You, you, roll, you, roll, you roll two huh? d20s and then you take the lowest of them. Okay. And um, where's... which one's my investigation here? Yeah, in the middle. Plus two. Okay. Eight. Eighteen. So, so you take so eight. eight. <laughs> With a 10 in investigation, you find a single, solitary, silver piece on the ground beneath your stool. It probably was yours, old fellow, when you were holding <laughs> it. <laughs> you don't know that. No. You don't know that. It's free money as far as you're concerned. <laughs> floor money! Floor money! <laughs> oh, floor money! Um, so I find Barbara now six. Sir, sir! Hello. What can I get for a silver piece? You can get 10 mugs of milk. <laughs> Do you have anything a little harder? You can get a single jug of fermented milk. <laughs> Ew! Could you put some whiskey in that, please? No. <laughs> it costs extra. I mean, uh, fermented milk will get you very drunk. It'll do something. Uh, I'll, I'll say fermented milk. Yeah. The fermented milk? Yeah. Alright. And Wyatt, with a hand on his nose, <laughs> yeah. and this hook around the jug, hands you a jug of vile. Smelling milk. At this point, Cal is sitting down right next to you, being like, As you drink this, could you tell me how you feel? <laughs> well, I know the milk feels a little chunky. Chunky, chunky mm -hmm. okay. No. Chunky. Chunky. <laughs> Please help. And how conscious do you think you feel? Well, after smelling this, a little more sober than I was. Hmm, interesting, okay. The film on top of the milk is about an inch thick. Oh! oh uh, um, can, can we move away? I kind of want to go talk to people. What do you think? Yeah, I'll follow you. Just okay, okay cool. to the bar. Um, I'm going to go talk to the rock gnome. Okay. Because she seems cool. Hello! Hi, how are you? Good! Are you, are you here for the, the job The thing? job, yeah. yeah. It sounds so cool, doesn't it? I'm really excited to do it. It's so much money. And I know. It's such a good experience. And you know what? It's it's like the same amount each. So no one has yeah. to be mean about it. No, it's great. No splitting money. Everybody gets their own shares. It's so, I mean, it's so, it's so much as well. Like, what, what is going on there? You're so pretty. <laughs> You're so pretty. No, I'm not. Shut up. Oh, no, you are. No. Can I have a hug? No. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. You can hug me. That's oh, okay. Really <laughs> That's really forward. You can't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. She's she's just forward. Just really, she loves people. It's just I don't oh, know. Honey. She's only four. Well, no. I'm seven. <laughs> seven is not that much more. That's like three years. It means a lot more to us. It does. <laughs> what are your names? You guys are here for the job too, right? Oh, we should yeah. work together. I'm Keiko. This is I'm Ikika. Ikika. I'm Grania. Hi, Grania. It's good to be folklore. But not the not those folklore, you know the other the other folklore, 
Not the bad ones, yeah. the good ones. The good ones. So I saw that you came in with like these other people here. Like, are you guys like a group or are you just on your own? Or? Yeah, we kind of all like rocked up and then you know rock like hey. rock up. Uh, <laughs> at the same time, and we decided, yeah, you know, it's better to do things together than alone. Good call. Good call. Totally agree. Yeah. Kind of the same like situation here because we found her and then we found her oh i'm slower at the bar like picking up what it gets eyelids oh wow yeah. oh wow and she found him i i uh, leave the nice night alone <laughs> <laughs> i i need a stick to stir this <laughs> they're doing their thing they're having a great time yeah. is that ever meant to be <gasps> yeah yeah that's, that's why, disgusting that's, that's why is that the quality of the drinks in this bar in general? No. I think I that's th just his quality. Ew. Yeah. 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 The cocktails are lovely though. Mm. This is really good. I might try one later, but I'm going to see what this job is about first. Yes. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> <clears throat> I pick up one of those uh, the leaflet things with the job in it and go look at it and like, not very tactfully, very loudly say, but how can they afford to just have everybody have this, give everybody the same amount? What is the, why isn't there a limit on the size of the people who can take this job? This is, I, this is a lot of money. One of the Aladrim at the Aladrim table kind of leans over to you and is like, it's Chelsea Dovetail. You know Chelsea Dovetail, right? Of the Jack Haven Dovetails? One of the richest families in the whole city? Yes! So you know that 10,000 gold is nothing to them. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah. We're gonna try and squeeze it for more. You wanna help? Uh... Uh... Hello! Um... Uh... I'm sorry, my sister is, um... <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> You should come meet some of these people over here. Oh, they're really cool. This oh, is Tanya. Uh. She's awesome. Look at her. Hi. Hi. I think she. I think like you were like. So, so is he alive? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not dying. Interestingly, what I'm trying to figure yeah. out is is if he has a special if it, the ability is physical that allows him to consume uh -huh. that much poison without falling over or dying, or if he's using some sort of magical effect. Okay. He might have just drank enough that it, he's like becoming immune to it. Well, oh. yes, that would come under the ca category of, of, of physical adaptations. Which yeah, is really interesting because humans really shouldn't be able to do that. Mm. Didn't your sister kind of do some sort of like a spell thing earlier? Oh yeah, that when he passed it. out to make sure he didn't okay. die while we were gone. Okay, well, it worked. Yeah. It wouldn't still be taking I mean, that now though. Okay, that, oh, well fair, that's fair. But you know, I mean he's... Hi! <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah. Cool! Same! Yeah. What? Well, all I'm saying is he may have some un hitherto unknown ability <clears throat> to save off death. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Also really very cool. useful. Yeah. yeah, I mean, maybe yeah. it won't go anywhere, but I think it's worth researching. Okay. Mm -hmm. Callum, ha have we not had enough talk of staving off death? <laughs> Sorry, Dasha. <laughs> yeah. Claudius, yeah. from your spot at the standing table, you feel something unusual down by your ankle. <laughs> he looks. <laughs> <laughs> the leg of your pant has rolled up. Just a little bit, because there's something snuffling around in there, taking a big sniff at you. And you feel, with a shiver down your spine, a big wet nose press against your bare skin. Um, hello? When you look down, what you see is the wide, smiling face of an otter, <laughs> looking up at you, <laughs> squawking. I told you there was rodents in here. Um, from underneath <coughs> his plate mail armor. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is not an otter-shaped person. This is a real otter that just happens to be wearing full plate. I love it. Um. You <laughs> did. Shoot. Go away. No, no, no. Go away. He scurries around to your other leg and starts sniffing again. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, he picks up the otter. Who owns this? The Aladrin, very lucky. The Aladrin at the table with the two swords looks at you 
Thumb says. Put him down. Well, make sure he stops sniffing at people. And he puts him down. And the otter scurries over to his owner. Up into his lap. Where he is ignored. Completely. Because the otter has his arms crossed so (laughs) tightly across his chest. That not even a crowbar could get him open. <laughs> and he like rolls down his pant leg and like wipes off any otter snot that got on him. Ew. Otter snot. Snotter? It's a snotter. <laughs> are otters a rodent? No, no they're, they're not. They're not. Yeah, so I thought yeah, they were yeah. 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 That was just a making a mistake. Okay, cool. Yeah. As you guys <laughs> drink and introduce yourself and are generally merry. Mm-hmm. The door to the furry arms once again opens with a slam, a very dramatic slam, rather than a friendly sort of creep. <coughs> and in steps the most beautiful moon elf you have ever seen, with loose ringlets of lavender curls. S- fucking fuck. <laughs> they British Bake Off, you can't say fuck, so they say brand names of people. <laughs> or no, is it when they cry? It's when they cry. It's when they cry, yeah. they come over and Sue Perkins just shouts fuck at people. <laughs> <laughs> um, in steps, the most beautiful moon elf you've ever seen, with waves of lavender ringlets cascading. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes. They can only be beautiful, cascading in one direction. Beautiful That's cascading, cascading one direction. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Perpendicular? <laughs> She's got a perm. She's got a really bad perm. <laughs> in steps, the most beautiful moon elf you have ever seen. All three of them. All three of them. All three of them. <laughs> with blue spring that's a pale lavender hair. She has yeah. a slight build, an oval face with a tiny upturned nose and piercing brown eyes. And she is wearing a low-cut galaxy swirl cocktail dress. Ooh. Coupled with high-high leather boots that clack authoritatively as she walks into the bar. And a hush falls over it because half the people in here know Chelsea Ducktail when they see her. You can mm-hmm. hear Carla's quill like scratching. She's like, respect the aesthetic. <laughs> and here's the star of the show. Do you have to write so loud? Right. Lads. Oh, Who's here for my job? Chelsea Dolto says, right, let's get down to business, shall we? Um, she kind of has a bit of a look about the room and her eyes narrow as she realises there's no chairs here. And then she fixes her eyes on this one scruffy middle-aged looking man who doesn't realise for about three seconds that she's looking at him. And then he sees her and goes, <laughs> and she just stares at him, as if to say, what are you doing on my seat? And after about five seconds, he gets up and runs. <laughs> and she sits herself down in the chair, straightens out her dress and says, all right, everybody who wants this job, bring your chairs around so I can talk to you. If you don't have chairs, you can stand. That's fine. Okay. Grab your picture. Yeah. <laughs> bring your chair around. Bring your chairs around. Writes note in book, possible mind control power, <laughs> question mark. I drag my stool over. Do you want to make a dex check? <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I, yet, I don't know how to explain this to you. You just drank fermented milk. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> 20. 
Yeah, I'm nice, <laughs> nice. Somewhat nimbly, despite the amount of alcohol in your system, you drank this stool over and managed just about to perch your arse on it. He's a pro. Yeah. He knows what he's about. Drop he's a good monkey stool sitting style. <laughs> <laughs> and Chelsea casts her eyes over the 20 or so people that are gathered in front of her and she says, Right, so here's the story. I haven't seen my brother in a month and I want to know what's going on. I want to know where he is, who he's with, what they're doing to him. I want to know why nobody is allowed to go into that castle anymore. I want to know why nobody's heard from the king or the queen or the prince in a month. I want to know what's up with the Council of Jacks refusing to see me. I need to talk to them about where my brother is. This is not acceptable. Nobody is returning my calls. I need all of you to go and find out what the story is. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Everybody up for that? Yep. Yeah. That sounds okay. Do anybody, does anybody have any questions? Seems pretty straightforward. <laughs> 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 you can go first. Um. Castle? Castle Jackhaven? Big castle down the road, don't know if you saw it on your way in. We were there, I know that is. It was a okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were literally there. Oh. Yeah, um, we by it. yeah okay. Um, yeah. Maybe we should yeah. ask a question. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. I want to know why. Hmm. Well, I think that's a good question. Why have the local guards not? done something about this? Because they're standing outside it guarding it every day and I want to know why. I want to know why nothing's coming out. I want to know why nothing's going in and they won't give me any information because they're a load of gobshites. Oh. Okay, that seems like yeah. That was my main question too. So. <laughs> so, I don't care what means you use. I don't care who you have to kill, who you have to maim, who you have to interrogate. I want to know what's going on. Where's my brother? Where's the king? Where's the queen? Where's the prince? Where's the princess? What's going on? Mm. You've acquired a princess too, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I from the meaning. back right of the group, yeah. 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 one of the Eladrin, the one that has his hair up in a sort of samurai bun, mm -hmm. doesn't even put his hand up, he just says, and we're getting paid, right? And she says, of course you're getting paid. As long as you bring me my brother or any information to do with why we can't get in and out of the castle or where he is, you'll be getting paid. And the Aladdin says, and that's 10,000 gold, right? 10,000 gold each. And she says, of course. 10,000 gold is nothing. And he just kind of sits there with his arms crossed and nods. And his otter kind of like puts its head up on the table like this and looks at everybody and then goes back down. In a way that the otter just... <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if you need to be to kind of know anything else. I don't um, think so. Like, were they acting weird before the event? No. No? Okay. Mm. How dare you imply that my brother would act weird? No, I wasn't implying your brother acted weird. I meant like the royal family, <laughs> the guards, I mean, about the event. I mean, they're all bird people like you, so they're weird anyway, but no, nothing mm. out of the ordinary. Okay. Why did your brother go to the castle? Because there was a party. The Crescent Moon Gala was on. Uh, These things happen all the time. Why weren't you there? Because I didn't want to go. Oh. Because Johnny... I'm nearly cursed. <laughs> flap, it's okay. <laughs> Johnny Flap! <laughs> Do you know why I didn't go? Okay. Because Siobhan Fraser was going to be there. And I didn't want to see her. And I didn't want to see her brother, and I didn't want to see her dad, so I didn't go. I was like, Tristan, you go deal with them. I don't care how much money they owe us, you go deal with them. Do, do you know about anyone else who might have gone and also hasn't come back? No. Hmm. L like, um, is there anyone who was there that maybe we could, like, go and talk to? That might be able to... Like, we could go to... Frasers. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, yeah, if you want to go and talk to the Frasers, I don't know what you're going to get out of them. Oh. But... Mm -hmm. I mean, has, to find out. Has anybody else gone missing? 
I've heard stories about other people going missing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've sent a lot of people in. Like I've said, I, this isn't the first time I've put this note out. I've had a lot of people come to me and be like, yeah, we want to take your job. And then nobody ever comes back. Mm. I don't know what the story is. Nobody but I'll keep sending people in until I get my answers. Yes. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I mean, I guess we could go and talk to people who were there, I guess. Do you know where we could get a guest list of the invites mm. at all? In the castle. Okay, that doesn't uh, help. <laughs> just busting in seems like a pretty direct approach. D that, we that could just go like talk to one really of the guards. Yeah. I'm sure they're reasonable. Um, I, 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 th I think we should probably start with other people who were there mm. and see if they saw anything strange or, you know. Unless there's like some really obvious tradesman entrance, we could just bust down in. Servant's entrance? It's worth yeah. trying. Could be worth it. Okay. So... Yeah, I think that's all the questions I have. Anyone else have questions for Miss Dovetail? No? Okay. Looks like we will take the job and we'll do our best to report back to you. Alright, well... I'll be back here this time next week. Don't show up if you don't find anything. I don't care. I'm not paying out halfsies. You either give me what I want and I give you the full amount, or nothing. Fair. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of this shite hole. And she steps up and flounces off. She's fed up. Not surprised. <laughs> to be fair, there is like curdled milk like all over the floor. Yeah, no, I mean, it's yeah. not like, I mean, I'd be... Oh, her nose was like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Normally, I would be more annoyed at her, but this place does smell kind of bad. This is I disgusting. Can't really, here, yeah. can't actually Absolutely. necessarily say that, that she was just being a snob. Yeah. Like mm. it really does. No, yeah. there yeah. is a smell. There, there mm. is. Yeah. To there be is. fair, she organized me to here, so yeah, she could have just yeah. could have met somewhere that smelled less bad. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. She didn't organize it in any of the well-to-do bars because none of you would have gotten in. That's fair. <laughs> That's oh. also fair, yeah. I mean, like, the Arakakras are pushing it as it is because it's an over 21's bar. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gotta be relative. Yeah. Like, it's gonna yeah, be like, yeah. like you yeah. have to be an adult rather than, like, yeah. literally 21. I mean, it's like a 21-year-old elf. Kid, yeah, yeah. Like a 21-year-old elf is, like, not that old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. Anyway. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so where will we start? I think, uh, well, we have the name of the Fraser family. We know they were there. Yeah. So that might be a good place to start. Okay. So you want to go to the house of Fraser's? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, we do. Yeah, that's, that's where we're going. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, I, I may have missed some things before I arrived at brunch, but you two have are from this town, you have local knowledge. Oh, well, well I mean, I'm from like all over. We travel um, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. We uh, just have been in the town for a few days, so... I mean, I've been here before, but... Yeah. Yeah. So... We're just familiar. Um, Kala kind of was. Sorry. Yes. Hello. Uh, hey. I can offer a bit of guidance, if you like. Oh, cool. That would be very helpful. Hey, sure. I'm Akika. Lanius. Is that a tooth that you got there on your necklace? Uh, why, yes. It's several teeth, actually. What Thank you for noticing. What kind of teeth are they? Oh, you know, all sorts. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, sure. All sorts of interesting and strange creatures. 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 <laughs> yeah, creatures. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yes, I uh, I've been working in Jackhaven for some time, so I might not know exactly where the Frasers make their residence, but I'd be happy to show you around the general spots. That sounds great. I mean, we could yeah. ask other locals as well where the Frasers might live. Of course. Well, no time like the present, unless you want to rest for the evening. Uh, no, I think we had a pretty calm day, and yeah. you've been asleep for like half the day. I'm very drunk. I can fix that. It is also considerably after dark, and nobody has eaten yet. Oh, we had brunch. You had brunch. We did like have brunch. Seven hours. That was. Ago. That's true. <laughs> Let's get some chicken rolls. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Oh. No. No, you're not going to have chicken rolls. No, your, choice rations, rules. your choice of rations we are have burritos fruits. or donuts. There is no in between. Yeah. We have some bird seeds. We so. have bird food. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> bird burritos. No, but like dried oh, fruit oh. and, and veggies and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. 
Lizards. Lizard eggs. Lizard eggs. Lizard eggs. I'm feeling surprisingly full from the milk. It was very chewy. Oh, yeah. No, we it was kind of just cheese, really. By the yeah. Way. yeah. yeah. That was like cottage cheese, sort of. Stop. Yogurt. Stop. Stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Callum wanders back to the bar and has like a little whispered conversation with the wife. I know I'm whispering very quietly. That's what whispering is. No, but we I'm have microphones that... that need to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Stage whisper. Stage whisper. So, can I have a big bucket of water? You can have a big bucket of water. <clears throat> Does it give it to me? Why it hands over a big bucket of water? <laughs> it's not the cleanest water you've Doesn't ever seen. Doesn't really matter. Life. And I've got it behind my back. And I kind of stop. <laughs> not in the bar. Wait till he's outside. Hey guys, let's go out into the street! Well, if we can even find an idea where the residence is, that's pick a good place. Let's go out into the street! Okay, okay, yeah, let's go! Uh, let's hold go on, hold on, hold on. Bar, bar, bar keep. One more for the road? Do you have the money for it? Well, that's relative, isn't it? No. no not really, no. Uh, Absolutely not. But uh, it's, it's tangible. But oh, it yeah, can be held between the the two door. fingers. Um, take my, take my business elsewhere then. Uh, yeah, let's go outside. Uh, okay. <laughs> one of the elaborate says, hey, get, there's drink outside. Yes. Come on, kind stranger. I, yeah, I, I, I was initially, like, slightly dragging him down. He's running out of the door. I follow, I, I'm like, hey, hey, get. Um, what's important to remember is that everything is just in the name of research. Whoosh! And ah. I chuck the bucket of water at him. I, <laughs> we can put that I'm, in. I, I'm, I'm still standing beside him at this point. Of <laughs> Sorry, Bash. I am um, on the way out of the tavern. You are joined by the three Aladrin from before. One, the one with the bun. Oh. A lot less enthusiastically. Than if the I'd known two. that the, the, they were coming with us, I would have saved some of the water for the greasy one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've just realised, if I've just been dashed to water, do I have a whole lot of like, hair dye running down my face? Um, the blonde Aladrin introduces no, himself as probably. Reuven yeah. Falone. Mm -hmm. Say that again? Reuven Falone. That's the blonde one? That's the blonde one. The one with the messy black hair introduces himself as Charlie O'Gees. <laughs> Ooh. Of and after no small amount of coaxing from his companions, the dickhead the is... The dickhead is Corwin. Corwin. And his otter is Blaze. Oh, oh that's a good that's name. A, that's a good otter. Blaze the mm. otter. Um, you were already... Lanny walks on the other side of the group to Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you were already introduced the to the Rothno. As close to Bert. As close to Yes, Grania the Rothno. Who is Grania yeah. Folkor. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. of those Folkors. But the other ones. <laughs> the other ones. I have that. Good one. ones. Um, the monk introduces herself simply as Skur. And with that skirt with a C or skirt with a K. Skirt with a K, dear. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> and the tiefling introduces themselves as Finn Orion with a nice flourish of their hand and a swift of their tail. And Reuben, who has sort of taken command of this equally ragtag bunch of adventurers, says, Guys, we're gonna go grab some rooms over at the Stag's Head. It's across the river. Furry Orange doesn't do rooms. Any of you need a place to stay? Yeah, yeah I'd say so. Yeah, that's probably yeah, a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Okay, well, we're gonna go gather our information. You guys can go gather your information. How about we meet back at the Stag's Head in an hour and we can all sort out rooms together? Yep, sounds okay. like a plan. Cool. Alright, sure. sure. see you guys in an hour. See you when. Bye. If we only have an hour and it's mm. already dark, then going to the Frasers right now probably isn't a good idea because um, yeah, it might be asleep. you told me <laughs> that going to people's houses in the dark is generally not considered polite. No. Is so. No, really, no. no, no. Remember I... what I told you about the torches and the pitchforks? Yeah, I remember the torches and the pitchforks. And so <laughs> maybe now would be a good time to go see about that service dungeon because it's dark. Yeah, mm. that seems like a good idea. Can we get chips on the way? Well, we can get food back. We can get food back at the inn in an hour. Okay, that's fine. I haven't had anything since. Bush. You can, you can have. Do birds eat chips? Birds eat chips. Birds eat 
Yes, yes. Definitely eat chips. You ever had chips on the beach? I know. I know. I'm from home. I know that seals eat chips. Um, but do lovebirds eat chips? Do I mean, they would. Eat they they eat think they're big chips. They've been around Japan. I'm pretty sure we eat chips. You Google it. They're potatoes. No, they're, they're veggies. I'm, I'm, I'm they're pretty veggies. sure they, they're they veggies. Like they're tubers. No, it's, uh, it's they're tubers. <laughs> All right, so two birds, two birds, two. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you guys are heading towards teach. Castle Jackhaven to look for a servant's entrance. Yeah. Yes. Mm. <laughs> the Castle Jack. If you would like to direct your attention to the map. Ah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Damn. The furry orange is here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Castle Jackhaven is here, oh, so it's convenient. right on the road where you were, which Amazing. is why Chelsea was kind of like, why don't you know where it is? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's, um, outside. <laughs> it's this big, imposing sort of Martello Tower style fort. Like, think of Martello Tower, yeah. but about six times the size of a Martello Tower. And then it's got other buildings sort of annexed onto it. Mm -hmm. And it's all surrounded by these big walls that are topped with, you know that real like Dublin style mm. concrete and then bits of broken glass? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's topped by that, but then there's also a walkway just behind that where there are guards regularly patrolling. The main gates into the castle. There's no moat, there's no portcullis, there's nothing like that. The, but the main gates into the castle are being guarded by two dragonborn guards in the proper, like, high-vis jackets of the Jackhaven guardie. <laughs> They're both dragonborn, and one is silver, and the other I'm, is black. I have a, I have a mechanics yeah. question. Okay. What is the fancy high-vis made out of? Polystyrene. <laughs> Magic polish, sorry. It's made, it's it's made out of midnight jackrabbit hair. Okay. okay. It could be like a bioluminescent paint on our right? It's made of mushrooms. <laughs> it's made out of mushrooms. Sure. Is this the sort of thing Colin would like to know? That's all. Uh, there are two dragonborn guards. <clears throat> One is silver, the other is black. Lanius, you know these guards particularly well. Mm hmm. You know that the silver dragonborn is named Fionn Argemare, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you know that the black dragonborn is named Warvelus Glavinari. Mm -hmm. Warvelus? Warvelus, oh, Warvelus, with a W. And they are guarding the main gates into the castle. And they nod to you guys as you pass. It's like, a, yeah, how are you? What are you doing? Hey. Having a mooch. Yeah, yeah Grant, don't cause any trouble. Evening, gentlemen. Hi, Lanius! And you have a you have a bit of an old sneaky scope yeah, around, around, around the walls. The circle. How sneaky do you want to be? <laughs> like like more casual maybe yeah. than sneaky. So like, you're being casual. Yeah, like we're, we, we don't look like we're trying to hide. We're being tourists. We, we look like, like tourists. Mm, oh, we look definitely at that. look like tourists. I want everybody to roll me investigation checks. Oh, okay. Get disadvantage. Uh. Do you know, the water didn't sober him up at all? No. Nope. Well, no, you just washed it. It's them. fermented milk. It's not going away anytime soon. I was two. <laughs> Halfway two. Yeah. two. Congratulations! Also two. Six. Oh, five. Five! <laughs> what, did you get some? You're the ten. wizard, please. Yay! How do you have ten? You know, I, I have a plus six to investigate. <laughs> oh, okay. You know it's a bad day when the wizard rolls a four. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a 4, but 14? I got 10. You got a 14. Not yet! Okay. Yay! I'm very distracted. It's my first time in the city. Yeah. I'm just distracted full stop. <laughs> you also can't see in the dark. You That's... guys are all kind of distracted by, like, oh my god, there's so much glass up there on those walls. This yeah. is so, like, <laughs> this is so primitive. Can't so unsafe. Can't so on that at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lanius, with a little bit of, sort of, wandering around and kind of knowing whereabouts you would need to go because, you know, you've walked around here before, you yeah. know the castle. You find that there is, in fact, maybe what would constitute as a servant's entrance, but it looks more like a set of steel wrought gates mm. that lead into a sort of walled off enclosed garden area. And it is very, there's no guards, but it is very firmly locked in place mm. with a lock that looks like a rose. Is it 
like a gate that we can see through. But yes, you can see, within. You can see a, like a tiny little garden area that has a bench in one corner. There's a really nice well with a fountain attached to it in another corner. And then there's just like flower beds and a little path that you can walk around and a couple of weeping willows kind of coming over. You see, he, nice. here's the thing, and now, Basha, you can tell me if this would um, be a bad idea, but I can just and be over there and be on the other side of this gate, and I can have a little quick look around and then I can come right back. You can just what? Well, I just figured it out, actually. I um, sort of, um... Gather, um... We, we can fly over the wall. Birds. We are yes. birds. That's amazing. So you know it is pretty by cool. yourself, but um, <laughs> there is also the issue of uh, there possibility of other guards on the other side, yeah. which was what I would have pointed out. Yeah. If you yeah. go okay. so much as ten feet up into the air, you are going to be seen and you are going to be shot. Yeah. But, but I can do it yeah, down on the true. ground, and I can oh, just true, true. jump right behind that tree, have a little quick look around, um, and come right back. Actually, you kind of, like you knew those guys over there. Like, what's what's the story there? Would would it be too unlikely for you to just kind of just be here? Or I don't know, like who you are or what your well, name is, really. So I mean, the courtyard is it's a courtyard. Tourists come around here all the time, but oh, we certainly wouldn't be allowed within the walls. Oh, okay, there is a chance that maybe the physical door is not the only barrier to us getting in. So yeah, but the lucky thing about my spell is that it wouldn't necessarily really matter because I just stop being here and I start being over there so I don't go through the gate exactly mm. and what if there's you know someone who's going to shoot you on the other side well that's what I'm thinking I go straight behind that tree I can see mm. so I'm already hidden when I go there okay. and then I just have a really quick look like I just look you're checking this <laughs> <laughs> it's misty step not blank I know that it's Misty Step, I'm not checking Misty Step, I'm checking something else. Oh dear, right. <laughs> I mean, it, it, ugh, it's just very risky with you going by yourself. But I, I'll mm -hmm. only stay for like two seconds, I'll just have a really quick look, see if anything weird is going on, and I'll zip right back. Because I, I can use it twice before I go to sleep. Okay. No, okay. I'm uh, not up to date on my uh, castle defences, but I think... I mean, if I were in charge of a castle, I would certainly have some magical wards up and about to that, let me know about the presence of intruders. That was what I was suggesting, and maybe beginning the investigation by antagonizing the people in the place we breaking want to investigate. In, into the ca in retrospect. Might, yes. Yeah. But well, I, I mean, okay. wards are really hard. To, I mean, for them to have wards for any use of magic over a space this big, I mean, those would be some really intense words. Mm. But Not for magic, necessarily. Just to sense if someone is somewhere they shouldn't be. Not only that, but the most likely place would be at these particular gates as well, mm. where people can see through. So it might be best if we continue our investigation by talking to people first. We at least have established there is another back entrance. Mm -hmm. So maybe if we take that info back, and we're going to plant maybe the other people also looking into finding out what happens. They might have found something else that might have worked. Yeah, what are you doing? Just checking if I was convinced. She's convinced. <laughs> you don't have to roll social rolls against other NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> or against other NPCs. That's okay. But she rolled really low. So. <laughs> I, just wasn't, I wasn't sure. She, she was a 50-50 kind of person. So I was going high or low. If I rolled low, yeah. she was going to like, okay, let's go. And yeah. She was going to argue more if I rolled high. I love how we're banking all of our choices. I'm trying to convince you yeah. specifically. Yeah. We can just go. I can cause a distraction. Let's, no. Let's, I mean, I don't really want to see up. that. I don't think that's... Let's <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm slightly it. raising my, my, my staff. Just, no. <laughs> let's save distractions, slipping in, that kind of thing, for if we have no luck outside. Yes. Maybe we could talk to the guards and ask them for... But in a surreptitious manner. <laughs> you I could ask them. Oh, you really are new, aren't you? <laughs> yes. Um, okay. <laughs> Please. I I think you can do it. Thank you. Um, hello, um, guards. Um, <laughs> hello, miss. I am a cleric of the Raven Queen, visiting for um. Just checking up on the spiritual well-being of the local establishments. Um, 
in my purview as a cleric of the Raven Queen, I was just wondering, um, is everybody um, dying okay here? Like when... <laughs> There's been no, like, issues with people dying. Like, they're dying properly. <laughs> Some normal death. The two... We're just like, here to check on normal deaths. The black dragonborn is just, like, stone-faced, sort of, what the fuck And we're just all behind him, just cracking <laughs> And the silver dragonborn is trying really hard not to burst into peals of laughter. And he just yeah. says, Madam, I believe that your questions would be better directed at the Temple of the Raven Queen, which is if you just take this road down here and hock a left towards the river, you'll see you can't miss it. It spreads over the main road. It just, you can't miss it. You should ask your questions there. Okay, I was just uh, doing a little bit of door-to-door -door checking. Um, uh, here's a pamphlet. And uh, I, I, I has some pamphlets that just say, uh, everybody dies. <laughs> Okay. Alright, you spend the hour that you had before you had to meet everybody back at the stag's head scoping out Castle Jackhaven. Faffing about. Faffing about. Mm. You found an alternate entrance into the castle that's not being guarded as much as the main entrance is. You just need to find a way to get in. Mm. You head back to the stag's head, which is down by where the Temple of the Raven Queen is, actually. You cross under the great spanning arch of where the dormitories are on your way over the River Solid. I just, like, kind of slowly start moving that direction. I tried already. They won't let me in. And across the river and to your immediate left is a large-looking, kind of like, bar like converted barn that has over its two great sweeping doors the biggest deer head you have ever seen in your life. And there's a sign hanging around its neck that says, The Stag's Head, twinned with the Stag's Arse. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I'm doing great. <laughs> the doors are open, and the sounds coming from inside are either great or terrible, depending on how much you love a good old bar fight. Ooh, fascinating. And standing oh, outside, <laughs> there's this scruffy looking redhead woman who has her hood up and a cigarette dangling from one finger. What? No, she has a, <laughs> <laughs> she has a cigarette dangling from one trip. hand. It's her party trick. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's just pressed a digitator there. <laughs> she, has a, she has a cigarette dangling from one hand and she says, Are you all up for a good brawl in there? Come on, we go in and have a shot. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a laugh actually. Oh dear. <laughs> and that's where we're ending the first episode. Okay. Hey! Hey! Hey!